Peace be upon y'all. Welcome to my channel. So recently I realized that non-Muslims who are trying to convert Muslims to their religion start the process of persuasion by saying The Prophet Muhammad cannot be a prophet. He did not perform any miracles. However, Jesus performed miracles. He cured the blind. Moses performed miracles. He split the sea. What miracles did the Prophet perform? Huh? Alright, alright. So, first of all, Miracles are not the only indicator that this man is a prophet or not because many prophets did not perform any miracles and they were mentioned in the Bible and in the Quran. Secondly, even the prophets who perform miracles, the disbelievers called them magicians such as Moses, Jesus and Muhammad. Did you just say Muhammad? But Muhammad did not perform any miracles. Why would they call him a magician anyways? Let us be realistic right now. So at the present time, it's not going to matter whatsoever if all the prophets perform miracles or not because it's all history. It's all papers and word because all the miracles that occur occur for those people at that time so right now it's not gonna change anything and there's this big misconception that the prophets perform miracles they don't perform miracles it's God who performs the miracles through his prophet for example Musa or Moses he did not split the sea by his hands he didn't go oh you know let me let me open this all he did was hit the sea with a stick and the miracle happened how did it happen by God Right? But let's say miracles are the indicator to know whether Muhammad is a prophet or a false prophet, right? What if I told you the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, performed over 100 miracles in his lifetime? Would you believe in him? I hope so. So today, I present you top 5 miracles that were performed by God through his Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Alright, so let us start with miracle number 1. So during the Battle of Badr, the Prophet Muhammad grabbed a bunch of sand from the ground and threw them on the enemies and every single one was blinded and they ended up losing the battle by the way this miracle was confirmed in the quran Allah said and you did not throw O muhammad when you threw but it was allah who threw which also confirms my previous statement that god performs the miracles through his prophet let's have more miracles more miracles see one day that prophet was with his companions and they came up to him and they said we're thirsty we don't have water cannot make wudu except for this little amount in this vessel. He brought the vessel and he placed his hands on the water and the water started coming out between his fingers. All the companions drank and made wudu and according to Sahih Bukhari there were over 300 companions. Miracle number three. So one day the people of Mecca asked the Prophet to show them a miracle. So the Prophet gathered all of them, believers and disbelievers, and he split the moon into two pieces with a gesture of his index. That was recorded in the Quran as well. Allah said, The hour has come near, the hour which is day judgment, and the moon has been split. Now people say this verse is all lies and so the enemies of the Prophet criticized every single verse in the Quran, but they didn't say anything about this verse. Why? Because they saw the moon split by their naked eyes. If it didn't split, they would have said, oh, God is lying. That, that didn't happen, right? However, they still didn't believe in him because their hearts is sealed with stubbornness. Miracle number four, Al-Isra wal Ma'raj. So before the Prophet migrated to Medina, Allah Azza decided to take him on an amazing journey. He took him to Masjid Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. That's a trip that takes a whole month from Arabia to Jerusalem. And from Jerusalem, he ascends to the heavens, the highest level of the heavens. Nobody has reached that level, no prophets, no angels, nobody. And he meets Allah Azza Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? reaching that level, that just just imagine it, it's mind blowing. So he descends back, the next day he decides to tell his companions and the people of Mecca. He went to Jerusalem, and then he ascended to the heavens, you know what I'm saying? And the response wasn't really good. The disbelievers started making fun of him, and even some of the believers, they had doubts because there were no airplanes at that time, you need a whole month to go to Jerusalem another month to get back to Saudi Arabia. So it was mind-blowing, it was illogical. So he decided to prove to them that he actually did all of that. So he told them, I will describe you the Masjid al-Aqsa in details. And he did. And they know that he'd never been to Masjid al-Aqsa. And meanwhile, he's describing it. Uh, Abu Bakr says, Sadaqt, Sadaqt, he said the truth. But they still didn't believe him because he might have gotten the information from Abu Bakr or from someone else. So he said to them, what if I told you that I saw a caravan on its way to Arabia and this caravan will arrive at this time he gave them an estimate and the caravan arrived at that time so the believers were happy finally and the disbelievers they didn't believe him 
And finally, miracle number five. And I think all my Muslim viewers guessed it right. It's a miracle that occurred at that time when the Prophet was alive. Yet, the miracle is still happening right now. It's a living miracle. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present you Al Quran Al Karim. A book that was revealed 1,400 years ago. And Allah promised to protect it. And He did fulfill His promise. Allah Azza said, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun. Indeed, we send down the remembrance, which is the Quran. And surely we will protect it. Not a single word, not a single letter was changed ever since. So, if you still think it's not a miracle, simply all you have to do is read it, and inshallah you'll find the truth. Assalamu alaikum. أبدا لا لن نحيد أبدا لا لن نحيد أبدا لا لن نحيد عن خطى الإيمان 